Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can create a tap handle and a tap assembly in Kitia V5. So the first part comprises of uh, creating the tap handle and uh, we are on the process of creating it and this is the final model and this is what we need to achieve. So this is the part where we are where we have stopped in our previous tutorial and uh, the next thing what you could do is to do a shaft for this particular model so select it and go for the shaft and then you could uh, the axis you could select maybe the y-axis click on OK just select it and reduce the line size okay that's fine I just uh, unhide the sketch and then select the YZ plane and start sketching our uh, next sketch come back to the drawing and uh, check what else has to be done now we have to do this portion so this portion is a little tricky so just make sure that when you're selecting the plane for the sketch you are you know selecting exactly like this because we might require this uh, previous sketch and this is going to be very useful so let's just uh, start doing this so firstly we'll create this line and then uh, we'll create two random lines and start out doing from there so firstly axis lines are very important when you're doing this so just uh, make use of uh, axis lines to make your design easier just create a line like this okay let's take a half of everything the angle with this makes is 5.72 so we'll just divide it that's 5.72 by 2 okay I just uh, let's just move this line a little bit outside All right now this distance is 115 so let's just dimension this to 115 all right now we know that uh, this stops at this one so trim the, the portion which you have here so I got a con coincidence here and uh, another thing that we know is this distance is 90 so Select this point and this line and make it as 90. What else do we know? We know that uh, okay. Hmm. It's okay. All right, now this is gonna get coupled with this. So this diameter is 29, so this must be 29. So let's just give uh, this point and this axis of, that's not what I mean. This point and this line makes a half of 29, All right? That makes sense. Now, what else do we want? Okay, that's it. Now we need uh, a circle of radius 10. So we'll just create a circle of radius 10. And we'll inside that let's just see what else has to be done 
now what else has to be done all right the center of the circle makes a distance of 23 so 23 that's what they said 23 okay now okay now we need this little portion here so for that you could actually use this 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 and this line and project it and then mirror it with respect to this then what you could do is just select this line here and make them dotted and then you could trim all this remaining portions right now you could just fill this little gap oh, let me see the model uh, okay let's just fill this remaining portion here okay now come out of the sketch and then select this and go for a shaft and select the axis as this one click on ok and we got that uh, curvature there now let's see how we can make the hole on the next part of the tutorial i hope you enjoy and if you have any doubts please comment below the video and thank you so much for watching stay tuned